Hello, welcome to Character Select. No, unfortunately, this is not Phoenix Point. There's a reason for that. See, here's the thing. Phoenix Point is a great game. I friggin love Phoenix Point. Absolutely love it. 100%. Um, but it's a game that's very much still in development. And the recent update that they released, which is the Cthulhu update, adds a lot of really cool new stuff to the game. For example, they replaced the ODI, the uh, Oneric Delirium, Delirium Index, with uh, a human population census. Too many humans die, game over. Makes a lot more sense than some nebulous percentage. Um, they also reduced the number of havens, reduced the number of interaction points, changed it so that you don't have to actively scan areas. You just get told about them when you find havens. That's all cool but it broke the save you can't use an older version save with the newer version and uh that is a problem i cannot bring myself to start the game over again for the third time so what's going to happen with phoenix point we're going to come back to phoenix point phoenix point is still going to be a game but i think i'm going to wait until they've released until they've stopped actively updating the gameplay loop and probably released some more of the DLC. Um, the next DLC is Legacy of the Ancients, which in introduces a new faction, new gear, new equipment, new enemies, all that stuff. And the DLC after that is the Festering Skies DLC, which introduces things in the sky that you then have to send interceptors to shoot down. All of that sounds really good. Uh, there's a total of five DLCs planned. Probably going to come back after the third one is released. I don't know when that's going to be. It probably won't be in 2020. It probably will be sometime late in 2021. But unfortunately, Phoenix Point for now is done. So this game that we are going to be playing... ...is called Chroma Squad. Uh, it is... A game suggested by... God, that music is loud. Uh, I need to actually change that. Hold on. Let's just turn you down a little bit. Thank you. This is a game suggested by Discord. Um, it's still a tactical RPG. It's inspired by Saban's Power Rangers. Um, which I think they were forced to add after they got sued. But whatever. Um, and it's about making, like, a Power Rangers squad. How cool is that? So let's do it. Uh, we will play. But you don't want to think too hard or try the same episodes more than once. Alright, we'll try interesting. But yeah, this game looks like it could be cool. Once upon a time at a TV studio just like any other. It's a lot of green screen. Super Rangers, it's time for all stuntmen to get in the scene. Hurry up. Boop. And where are the minions? Why are they coming down from the ladders? Okay. What? All right. Okay. There we go. All set for this part. Effects will come later. Guess we are lacking some story, huh? Yeah, but Dr. Soap doesn't enjoy it that much. This is getting really boring. I'm kind of tired of... Stop talking while we're recording! Battle them, or should I remind you... ...that you may click to either walk or choose monsters you want to attack? Defeat three enemies. Okay. Alright. Well, let's punch this guy, since he's the farthest one away from everybody else. Nice! Boop, boom. Go, go, Super Rangers. Oh, he can't move again. Or he can't attack. Okay, so you can move and attack or double move. Noted. A pink Ranger. Oh. Ouch, take it easy. Boop. 
Boom, boom. Aha. Uh, yeah, we completed the director's instructions. Nice. Blue Ranger. Nope, Red Ranger. Blue Ranger. Haha! -ha. Victory! Now, this may not be entirely immediately obvious, but I fucking love Power Rangers. This is one of the best episodes I've seen so far in this season. Psst. He always says that as long as we're defeating the monsters really easily. I heard you. Now I want some acrobatics. We can add some explosions to them later. What kind of... Let me finish talking. Jeez. You should use the teamwork maneuver to toss people around so they can move further. Okay. You still don't get a word I said. Use teamwork and then click on those yellow cells. All right. Okay, we're ready. <coughs> Tutorials. Ready to. All right, so we got Yellow Ranger here. Haha! -ha. Boing! Boom! Nice! That's actually kind of cool. Boop. Boom! Boom! Whee! Boom! Boom! Rude! You rude crude bag of pre-chewed food, dude. But what if I want to jump off my teamwork partner? Alright. Cut! Another perfect scene! Be glad I'm here to tell you what to do all the time. Oh boy. Now show the audience some more teamwork. You know how it works. Attack a minion when someone is using teamwork next to it. Oh, alright. I trust you guys won't hurt me. Well... Boom! Nice! Can I do it with three? Let's find out. Oh, I can! Oh! Great job! Keep it like that, I'm loving this. Now, move now so the boss can teleport onto the set. Where's that big girl in the monster suit? This is how you're going to do this. Remember your training, put all four of you adjacent to the monster in teamwork. And then attack the monster. Everyone around will help you out. Okay. That's what we call a finishing move. Why is he saying all these things again? We've done this so many times already. He just likes telling people what to do, I guess. Monster will blow up when you do the finishing move. I need the five of you to do it together. Shouldn't we fight the monster before the finishing move? This feels rushed. Our audience won't enjoy it. I never want to hear you say I want it that way. <laughs> Finish it. Boop. Destroy. Chroma power. <laughs> so Power Rangers. You are so strong. Splendid. Now for the grand finale, the huge monster explosion. No. This is ridiculous. Not even a giant robot fight. Hey. The actors just sit in their chairs. We stuntmen do most of the recording. And yeah, there's the actors, I guess. Besides, this is so silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside, see different places. Come on, people. Our show is not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we run our very own studio? 
Oh my, that's just the perfect idea! Count me in. What? Are you leaving Super Rangers? I'm in too. Let's do this. Have fun leaving a studio that isn't fun to work at, Dr. Soap. Bye-bye, Dr. Soap. Oh, and please stop being so mean to your employees. You can- <laughs> We're taking the costumes! <laughs> please leave the suits at the door. <laughs> Stuntmen met a moment later, still dressed in their old studio spandex suits. They talked about how they could start their own studio and record their first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped up. My uncle has a warehouse not far from here. We could use it. Alright, that could be a start. Might be just what we need. Let's go there now. That's totally a Megazord. But yeah, I friggin' love Power Rangers. I loved it growing up. I was too old to be cool for liking it, but I loved it. Arriving at the warehouse, everyone got very excited because of its size. And how they could take advantage of all that available space. They were looking around and thinking about camera positions. And someone spotted something. Huge pillar at the very center of the warehouse, covered in some sort of dirty bedsheet. No one knew what was under it. Where are those stun actors? Oh, there they are. They need to return my studio's spandex suits. Wait, what is that? I'll just keep watching. And curiosity knocked at someone's door and the sheet was removed. Amazing! An incredible replica of a device used in an American Hero TV series. Someone plugged in the energy cable and the machine said its welcome message out loud. Hello, my name is Cerebro. This is an example message. <laughs> Type the words in my back display and I shall text to speech them. Everyone's eyes shined. Wow, let them have those clothes. I know what I actually want from them now. I'll think of some devious plan. I'm out. We were just looking for a place to set up our studio and record, but... Now we also have this Cerebro thing to support our story. It's amazing! Yes, this is it! Just ask your uncle for this, too. Our f for uh, our future fans will love it. Will do. I think he'll be happy to lend us anything, including the warehouse. Hooray! Everyone gather up your props and at home and let's meet up tomorrow. We'll have plenty of work to do. Yeah, this is a game about making your own Super Sentai slash Power Rangers show. So the group of friends decided to take a different path in their lives. Later that day, the closer returned to their old boss. After a few weeks, with a contract ready to be signed. They finally have everything ready to start recording. Alright. So we have to record season finale after recording four other episodes. Contract will be cancelled if the number of fans is lower than zero. Okay. Uh, the name of our studio shall be... Phoenix Flight, Inc. Alright. So let's see. Customize your team, dudely. <laughs> Evan Ty. Gus Fune. Michael Florian. Micah. Azimo... Azimola. He is bound by only two of Asimov's laws, but which one? Okay, so you can customize everything here. It's actually kind of cool. Um, Ryo Yoshi, Silent Monk trained to move like water. Tele Telemelia takes care of its RV as well as he takes care of our giant robot. Kickstarter Becker. Wesley Stripes. Ugh. Alien. He came from outer space. Von Andy. Pretty boy, he's just here to raise your audience. Antitonic, a calm artist and musician who may look unremarkable, but has secret pro wrestling moves. Kickstarter backer. She does, she does not take no for an answer. A passionate defender of Mr. Of technology, Mr. Beaver. 
Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go a little off script here and say screw you, Red. Blue Ranger, best Ranger, you know? You know? All right, so let's see here. So the lead of, leader of his squad, taking responsibility for the group and always acting honorably. This role specializes in protecting and inspiring the rest of the team, plus 50% health. Okay. Leader and a problem solver. Expert survivalist is actress that survive hordes of fans. Even more health and extra counter damage. Hmm. Ashley is going to be our lead because Ashley gets plus tw or minus 20% health, but plus 30% sword damage. Everybody knows that the lead has a sword. That's just the way it works. All right. Assist. The dearest friend of everyone on the team, always optimistic and holding the squad together through the toughest attack, specializes in healing and bow attacks. This is... doesn't say. Okay. Plus 20% skill regen heals when using teamwork. We shall make her purple. Ingrid Johansson, world famous, this actress will attract lots of fans. Okay, I like that, but she's not going to be the pink ranger. Or the purple ranger, the assist ranger, sorry. So the robot could work, but... Let's do... Let's do Michael Florian, because he actually gets all, more skill regen already. Uh, and that sounds pretty good. Ooh, we get to name them, too. I didn't realize that. Uh, we shall call her Jasona. No. <laughs> Tommy girl. No. Hmm. We'll just go with Ash. Oops, it spells helps if you spell correctly. Your name is Mikey. All right, the techie is the team's most resourceful fighter, combining the use of items and weapons with a superior intellect. Specializes in long-range combat through skill. Gain skill regen once you use any skill once per turn. Okay. Basketball star specialized in flashy moves with a flashy salary to boot. What else we got? Mao Shinmei, anything is a deadly weapon in this girl's hands. Oh, you, you're just straight at, uh, a, okay. Uh, hold on, I got an idea. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna call her Scarlet and she's gonna be the Red Ranger. Hell yeah. Uh, Scout is the agile acrobat, a daredevil warrior that brings movement and grace to the fight. Specializes in moving fast and stunning enemies. So, green. Green means go, clearly. Uh, no. Yeah, we'll make you extra damage, girl. Okay, uh, and we will call you... Greeny, no. Viridian, no, that's two on the nose. Vivian Viridian. There we go. All right, as the techie, you're gonna be orange? No. Gray is kind of weird. Teal? White? I mean, black could work. Could also do yellow. Let's do super light pink. 
No, and we're, we're missing a color. We'll go with... We'll go with yellow for now. Let's see. I'm pretty sure you can change these whenever you want. He literally sucks. Do my guy. That's fine. And your name is Chen. Sure. Okay, that works out pretty well. All right. Maybe I can't change it. Whatever. Interesting. So it's straight up an RPG. Cool. Alright, so upgrade your studio and create catchphrases. Ooh. Alright, so the squad name is going to be... God, there's so many things to choose here. Phoenix Team, Transformation, Pyro Ties. No, that's dumb. Um, transformation is called Hmm. No, we gotta change the boop. That was bad. We gotta change the squad name here. Um, we will call them... I'm always terrible at names, I'm sorry. Phoenix Flight. I don't know if I already did that. Um, the transformation is called... In flame. Transformation shout. Flame on. No. <laughs> um. Rise from the ashes. Our giant mecha will be called the Phoenix Bot. <laughs> Um, um, <laughs> video games. <laughs> no, um, Tim, cut this out. This is taking too long. Uh, okay. So, I can't figure out a name for the mecha, uh, but the mecha shout is going to be Take Flight. Call mecha shout, I should say. And then the finishing move is Phoenix Blaze. Alright.
Alright, so we only have so much money right now. Every episode minus 15 bucks. Crafting rate plus 25? Ooh. And combat and skills. Alright, so let's buy a microphone and an SD camera, because that gets us more dudes. Hello, hello, how are you all doing? My name is Hermes Barreto. I am a master of crafting pops for t movies and TV. Some of my wares even have special bonuses. Be sure to visit my shop. Have fun. Thanks, dude. Hiking boots, paintball gloves, padded suit, comfy suit. Toy sword, there is no pointy end. Not much, but wait until you see the special effects. Okay, so those are expensive. It looks like I already have one of each. Um. Nah. Let's just try recording something. The pilot episode for your very own new series. Today, Fen Phoenix Flight Inc. will deal with a new threat that appeared near a science lab. Wait. Alright, well. Oh. Perform three team acrobatics to keep all actors above 50%. Defeat boss monster with a finishing move. Defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Okay. Warehouse of Jen's uncle. Alright. Season 1, Episode 1. Wow, our first episode. That's awesome. What if our first story was about a group of monsters that try to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them. Yeah, great, but hold on. We should add a narrator. Don't start the action yet. Once upon a time, a group of heroes is born. What do you think, Ash? I heard that a good plot starts like that. It's good, but it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Once up time? Oh, the guy who sold us the narrator software told me it's one of its quirks. We should just roll with it. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity. And their first task is to defend a science lab from an evil monster. Hmm, aren't the minions kind of late? Where did they go, Vivian? I don't know, Ash. They should hurry. What do you say, Mikey? They must be getting dressed. Don't worry, let's just have fun with our new job. Alright, here they come. We'll have lots of editing to do later, Jen. Action! Noisy noises. Damn, that's a lot of them. Hey, you all. Get ready for some action. Alright, so you're the scout. So you do up to 78 damage, which isn't enough to kill a weak nut cutter. So let's move you here. And then teamwork. So that you can punch this guy. Boom! Nice. And then you are the lead, and you still don't do enough damage. So teamwork. And then Jen. How far can Mikey move? Mikey... Oh, I can just have him move right now. Cool. Blah! Oh, no! Boom! Oh, no! Okay, so far so good. Alright, so what's Mikey's role? He's the assist, so... Okay. Click to transform into a more powerful state. That's awesome. I don't know why that's so cool. Rise from the ashes. <laughs> this is so dumb and I love it. 
Boom! Looks like she's still not doing more damage, so... Ooh, she can do this now. So go here. Stunning pose! And then teamwork. Scarlet is the assault, so Scarlet like punchy. Nice. So you got attack with your equipped sword, because you're the lead. Or eagle lasso. What's the cooldown on that? Three turns to use again. Oh, I can't do it. All right. This is cool. I'm not going to lie. I like this a lot. Bam! Duct tape. All right, punch that nutcracker. Duct tape. And you have Heal Doken. Heal a single ally up to four tiles away for 50% of its health. Interesting. Aw, oh, he didn't get a team up. Ow! Rude. Boom! Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna get sorted. Boom! Nice. Attack enemy all enemies for 85% damage, range three. Wow. That's real good. But you're dead. After defeating the powerful aliens while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. That's an amazing entrance, Transit Mancer. This will be great. Keep it up. Phoenix Flight, why did you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now. I'll come for you later. What were you doing in that lab? It's none of your business. Whoa. Who was that traffic light guy, and where did he go? Wait, Skylight, are you acting, or are you really lost right now? Oh, come on, Vivian, I'm acting. Go on with the story. Uh, okay, well, I don't know, Scarlet, and I can't track it with my scanner. That monster may strike again at any minute now. Cerebro might have something to say. You're right, Mikey. We should go see Cerebro. Phoenix Flight heads to Cerebro's chambers. They reach the place with the glorious teleport effect. Wow, Jen, I didn't expect you could render such a cool background with the chroma key. Me neither. This looks much better than the one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains the situation to Cerebro. Why do they want that research data so badly, Cerebro? They believe it is the key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now return to your previous location. I'm detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see this Cerebro device working. Phoenix Flight heads back. Teleport effect is not ready yet. To the scene, running! <laughs> Where are the monsters? Can't wait to use my special poses. I'm late. How deep are we into the episode? Deep enough, you are so late, boxing box. <laughs> this won't happen again, I'm sorry. Back to our lines then. I'll turn you into cardboard. Don't get me wrong, Scarlet, I'm cardboard. Minions, join me! Ready to serve, boss. 
Watch out! Okay. Now I don't have to worry about my uh, health at least, so I can beat the crap out of these guys. Boom, boom, boom! Aw, minimum damage. Teamwork! Oh, we can't teamwork. Oh, heal adjacent allies when posing? Nice. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh, buddy. We're to you reap what you sow. Watch out! Boxing box is coming for us! Stunning pose! Alright, so let's... Turbo Nards this guy. Cotton! Nice. Boom! Nice. Shoot everything! <laughs> so he might kill this guy. Let's find out. Not quite. Ow! Super punch! Did they have to change everything that was power to super? Because super is weirdly lowercase. And it's very noticeable. Oh no! Mikey! Heal Doken! Oh, come on. Stop dodging. 10% dodge chance for my booty. Ow! Ha-ha! <laughs> Play-Doh! Nice. Alright, so... Teamwork. 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 Oh no, there we go. Phoenix Blaze! Oh no, early finishing move. I didn't think he was gonna survive. All right, now we can finish it. Like they do on TV. Did I not defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster? Arg, I've been recycled! Boom. But what about the tra that transit mancer? Monsters always come back when they fail on their first try. It will show up soon enough, Vivian. And when it comes back, we will be there to stop it. To be continued. Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash in the community. Wow, I did not mean to watch Phoenix Flight episodes for hours. No spoilers, just happy we have a new season. Hashtag Phoenix Flight. Hey, you, watch Phoenix Flight. Learn Phoenix Flight song lyrics. And she sudati akuotas. I can't do that.
We got a lot of money too. Nicey. So with crafting, we can make fake boots or a cardboard sword. All right. My name is Charles Rocher, and all I have to say is that I'm very proud of what you've done. Leaving that studio, making, starting your own was certainly uh, the best thing you could have done. I was at the filming set when you left. Dr. Soap's face was a sight to behold. You probably don't remember me because I spent most of the time behind the cameras. Looking forward to your next episodes. Good luck, Phoenix Flight Inc. Aren't you that guy who dropped the camera during the episode? Sorry, I don't remember you. Reply received. Well, we got a fan, so I guess that went well. All right. So let's take a look at how we can upgrade our studio. All actors get plus 10% HP. Crafting rate plus 25%. Let's do this. And this. I'm okay with investing a lot of stuff right now. Who has the lowest attack? Is it Mikey? It's definitely Mikey, okay. And since he can't move very much, we'll give him a gun. Use the power of gun. Uh, and then... Oh, they have random properties. Interesting. Provides big bonuses to dishwashing. Interesting. Okay. Very much a grind. Okay. Uh... With love, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Bucket helmet! Alright, how do we upgrade you guys? Is it just... Requires season two, so... Seasons are essentially levels. So you can either use multi-shot or find weakness. Interesting. No, I'd rather you have the heal token. Uh, allies executing teamwork acrobatics with you may jump two extra tiles. Huh. Cool. All right. Let's record. Guest team member on set. Interesting. Okay. Uh, location, a random dead end. Location, a public park. A cliche warehouse. In this episode, an innocent bystander will be kidnapped by the evil monsters. But should this victim be a boy or a girl? Also laundry problems. Reach the guy before defeating all enemies. Reach the guy in three turns. Okay. Bum, bum, ba, dum, ba. I've been researching, and I think I know of a great way to go viral and boost our audience. What is it, Jen? Some of our episodes should be referencing the greatest heroes ever from other TV shows. Cool, we could record a special episode, but money isn't our best weapon. Don't worry, Ash, I've got something in mind. There will be a kidnapped girl just like in the series that inspired us. And my sister will be this kidnapped girl. Wait, wait, why are we not using a male in need of being rescued? That's a valid point, Mikey. Shouldn't we do this with someone else? She has family and she always wanted to be rescued in a hero TV show. Well, I think we should be careful so we don't fall into any sexist tropes. <laughs> if the series that inspired us were like this and Vivian's sister really wants to do it, what's the problem? Scarlet, we may not see our motivations as sexist or racist or things like that. But when people watch our shows, they see only what is on the screen. So it's our responsibility to change the way things are instead of just reproducing the world as it is. Well said. I understand now. Fun things can also change the world, right? And such a small change, too. 
My brother-in-law, Luciano Diaz, also wanted to be saved by us. So I guess my sister won't be disappointed after all. Okay then, let's move out, Phoenix Flight. Guys, the smoke bomb budget is very low. Come on, the hostage is still here. We need to take him to the boss. Let's do this quickly. I think Phoenix Flight will be here soon. Oops. Phoenix Flight must fight through dangerous enemies to save a boy's life. Hurry, he's right there. We must jump over that fence with Team Acrobatics. Oh, actually, I'm sorry to interrupt the episode, Ash, but... What now, Jen? Our uniforms are still at the laundry. We can't inflame in this one. Hope our fans understand. Let's abuse the use of our teamwork to make it more fun. Alright, is everyone set? Let's do this. Hurry, he's right there. We need to sit. Why can't I just use my martial arts skills to beat these monsters up? Luciana, what did I tell you earlier? You need to stay quiet. We don't even have a microphone on you. Alright, alright. Impact phrase and let's go. Three, two, one, action. Hurry, he's right there. We need to save him. Not if we stop you first, Phoenix Flight. Okay, so as long as we reach him before defeating all enemies, we can still defeat all enemies. Nice. Sweet Play-Doh, bro. Teamwork. Ooh, that guy has a lot of hit points. Boom. Oh no, he can't use gun. Ooh, nice combo, Mikey. Ow! Countered. All right, let's move here and teamwork. Move here and teamwork. Haha. -ha. Uh No, hold on. Let's move you here and teamwork. Mikey come in and punch this dude. More Play-Doh. Ah, oh, you can only teamwork once. Got it. Okay. Ow! Ow! So rude. Let's have you move here and teamwork. Wow. Thanks, Phoenix Flight. You're welcome, dude. Alright, team leader can punch this dude. Go, Mikey! Oh no! Boom! Oh no, we lost a Phoenix Flight member! Unacceptable! Boom! Done like dinner. Nice. Didn't this happen on Moon Vulcan too? Only if we had recorded the North Pole, Vivian. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, that's the very last episode. Ha, <laughs> good one. Too bad we don't have the Amazon girl to fight with. Good job, everyone. And thanks, Luciano Diaz. He's probably a Kickstarter backer. Wish they used their finishing moves. Aw, how can this series be so good? I'm speechless. 
Why are you not using finishing moves? Finish him, fatality. This is so cool. I love this. <laughs> I actually do. Who? New email. Hello, hello! Would you be interested in buying a great upgrade to your sword? Some people might say this thing is a scam, but who knows? The price is 130 now, 130 but if you order it now, you get a 10% discount. Are you interested? Sure! We got an enlarged sword, baby. Wait, I only spent 10? Okay. Oh, okay, he did reply. Interesting. We only spent $27? I don't think he understands how percentages work. Alright, it's a ridiculously big sword. It gives more- wow. It actually gives a lot more attack. Dang. Shing. Oh, and there's things that can be limited by roll. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I think we can craft some silver tape. This is better. Uh, and we need some plastic, which we can craft from Play-Doh. To make a bucket helmet. Boop. Nice. All right, and then we might as well get the healthcare bronze. And then we'll save up for a bigger studio. Phoenix Flight has an argument with a stunt actor who does not want to use a proper costume, but they have to record the episode anyway. <laughs> Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. This is so much fun, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, why are you wearing a barrel instead of your costume, mister? I am a high-value stunt actor and your silly costumes are beneath me. <laughs> Wait, what? We have a contract for this episode. So get back in that dressing room and wear whatever costume is in there. We'll even let you use the teleport effect as long as you're properly dressed. We'll move to the set and start recording while you change. Hi, hi. All right, let's move now. Do, 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 Welcome to the park. Send a bug report. Patience is a virtue, isn't it? A few moments later. What? Still not in a proper costume? You can't record like that, my friend. This is my costume. I'm the Barrel Man, and I'm going to roll all over you. Oh my god, that... Duck has a gun! Okay, that's enough. You're gonna roll back where you came from. Just don't roll over us, boss. Okay. So we can inflame whenever we want. Rise from the ashes! Oh my god, she actually is wearing a bucket helmet. <laughs> Doesn't change your damage output, but it does give you the access to those abilities. Interesting. Move here, and teamwork. Ah, oh, it's not good enough. But it could be. Eagle Lasso! Boom. Bread crumbler. 
taste the power of gun! Oh, he dodged. How rude. Really? Okay, so we need to... How far can you move? Not very. So move here. Teamwork. Because we have to attack him with the lead three times, so... You're not the lead, you're the assault! Dang it. I'm already getting confused with the colors I've chosen. Cool. Alright, well, we can't ignore the minions. Multi shot! Why did that only hit one dude? Gun! Rude. Rude. Super rude. Oh, don't hit purple. Okay. Purple needs some of that sweet heals. Purple is the one that's heals. <laughs> the studio light just falls down. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fabulous. Alright, blue. You can get to him. Alright, so that's one shot. We can finish him now, but we shouldn't. We should definitely take out the rest of these minions. If only to get more crafting resources. Ow. All right, Mikey. Oh no, it's on cooldown. But I think if he uses teamwork... Hmm. This is tricky. Power of gun! It shouldn't be as funny as it is, but it's really funny. <laughs> Whee! Boom, boom, boom. Then we go over here and use teamwork, and everybody gets a little bit of health back. Oh no. Okay. Howie. Alright. So if we teamwork here. Yes. Okay, this will get the three attacks. I could fight you all day. Now we just gotta finish it. Oh. Never mind then. Oh no! Now we can't use our finishing move unless Mikey can heal? He cannot. Do 
Dude, stop running away! Oh no, we can't. Oh, okay. Can we abort? We can abort the episode. Yeah, okay. Let's try that one again. He, he was weird. Okay, that was weird. Oh, I thought my eyes were going nuts. Uh, let's... Let's give Ash a comfy suit. Can I skip all this? Yeah, I can. Flame on. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, they do have a different suit on. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. No chances. So we took out two and we got to hit him a boss. Nice. These guys can't do anything yet. Ow. Oh, double shot. Okay, so. Teamwork. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, shoot. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Of course, now I don't remember what I was actually trying to do. Hey, that's good. Okay, so lead. Can't quite make it there. So let's have you go here and teamwork. So that the lead can jump in and punch some more. Stunning pose. Nice. Oh, not quite enough. All right, so he's going to barrel roll somewhere, maybe this way. Hey. Oh, up that way, huh? Okay. That actually kind of works in our favor, because now he's going to bear roll back, so... Nice crit.
because we have to go down twice. I'm gonna make that guy come to us. I want everybody ready to... Uh, ready to finishing move. Ow! Alright, we should be able to get everybody in position, right? Right. Teamwork. 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 Phoenix Blaze! Nice, we did it. And that's an explosion. Maximum audience, baby. Really impressed by the latest episode of Phoenix Fight. Wow, that was close. Didn't think the heroes would make it out. Phoenix Fight, spoilers. 41 for every 100 audience points you get during the episode, okay? And 5 for every 100 audience points. Watch your Phoenix Fight's latest? Join us for our Sentai podcast at 8 p.m. My god, at Phoenix Flight Inc., you've surpassed all my expectations with your show. Nice. Nice. That's how we do. Oh, and we have a bunch of emails. Okay. What a forgetful uncle you have, Jen. We haven't talked since the studio's opening. How are things in my warehouse? Hope you have all the space you need. I told Joe to fix that leak in the bathroom next Friday. Oh, and make sure to feed that cute little cat that lives around the place. She's been there since I brought in the Cerebro device last summer, probably stuck in the box or something like that. Cats are always nice to have around. I hope the little fellow inspires you to create new things. Greetings, representative of Phoenix Fight. My name is Ronaldo Sampaio, and I am the manager at Mad Folks Marketing Agency, LLC. Loved your first episodes and we're willing to work for you, making your show reach more people around the world. This is how our agency works. You pay us a fixed weekly, weekly cost when we work converting the audience of your episode into fans and income. Guarantee it. That seems like a scam. But I mean, buying the sword worked out. I'm sure you'll love our services and will enjoy our, your new audience levels. Keep on recording. How are you doing, my old friends? Dr. Soap. We all know that I'm the only reason your new show is any good. I know that our last moments weren't so great, and we were in a bad situation because of the ideas you've stolen from me. Let's get straight to the deal. You have a few options here. One, I'll see you in court. Or two, pay me tributes for my ideas. Or three, I'll be your new director. I hope you understand the situation. Everything will be all right. We'll see you in court. I would advise you differently, but the worst vice is advice. Good work. Good luck to all of you. Lawyers are the devil's ministry. Marketing! Better income conversion rate, better episode starting audience. Interesting. Uh, outdoor advertising plus 10 audience per episode. Hmm. All right, so let's do that and that. Cool. Nah, we don't have anything new to craft. And we don't have enough money to upgrade our studio just yet. So. Wait. El Pollo Loco? Fat alien terrorizes the city and Cerebro sends Phoenix Flight to deal with this threat, but someone has a dentist appointment. So first is perform a team attack with three squad members, defeat all weak bread crumblers in two round four rounds, defeat all minions before defeating the boss monster, hit the boss every turn. Bum, bum, ba, dum, ba. I love the screen pop-in effect. I don't know why. I love it when you use the teleport effect for no reason at all. It's just too much fun, isn't it, Scarlet? <laughs> I almost forgot. Jen, you have a dentist appointment today, right? Yeah, in a few moments, Ash. Then I'll have to leave. I'm sorry. No problem. We'll make this as quick as possible. Get ready! It's time for the minions to get on stage. 
Grar. Grar. Suddenly, a very human-like alien-esque fighter joins the scene. No, you're not supposed to join us right now. We haven't found your hiding place yet. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'll pay more attention next time. <laughs> a few more minions to the scene should make up for it. Prepare yourselves! A few more minions? Need to get rid of these monsters. They're all around us. Don't worry, Vivian. This should be easy. Go, Phoenix Flight! Go! Together we are invincible! Boom. We're just gonna get our team orc attacks out of the way as soon as possible. Boom! Oh, we need to have 200 audience to inflame? That's actually kind of cool. The episode isn't good unless you don't do it right away. Oh my god, a bomb? Ow. Good lord, there's so many. Alright, so... On our own, we can't beat any of them, so let's teamwork. Scarlet might be able to kill this guy. Oh, minimum damage. Rise from the ashes. Bum bum ba dum bum. All right, let's move here and then sword you. And then move you. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Move you here and shoot everybody. Oh, sweet. We get full heals whenever we enkindle or inflame. Um. Power of gun. Nice. Ow. Ow. Dude. So that kind of makes it more interesting if you don't necessarily enkindle right away and you need the keels. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Picking up what you're putting down. Oh, perform a team attack with three squad members. I did not realize that. Uh, I actually need you to kill this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Teamwork. Heal Doken on yourself. All right, we got all the director's instructions done. Five of them left. I don't think that was the most efficient way I could have done that, but that's fine.
Nerf, please. Point blank shot. All right, we got this. And hopefully we get full heals after the battle. Boom. We should continue this story in another episode. For now, I'm off to the dentist. Take care, everyone. You get more people bucket heads. To be continued. Wait a second. We may use Jen's absence to build a new story piece. Yeah, like Jen was kidnapped by fat alien. This will be gold. Well, <coughs> actually proceeding with the story. We should get to a different position. The audience will think we're in a different part of the episode. Good idea, Vivian. Everyone move and let's get to the new positions. Fat alien kidnapped Jen. Then Phoenix Flight reached its warehouse so they could get their friend back. And it suddenly appears. You shall never see Jen again! Jen is in good hands. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Then someone else joins the set using the teleport effect. Who are you? My name is Thomas Dahl. I am Galax Silver, the sixth ranger of the Galax Rangers. We were responsible for maintaining gal galaxy wide peace. And this intergalactic monster is a threat to us all. I thought you were just barging into our studio. But I'll definitely take that. Your line was just too great. Welcome to our show, Thomas. All right, everyone, keep rolling. Galax Silver, it's nice to see you here. Fat alien kidnapped Chen. Say your last words, obese creature. Limitless potential, Galax Silver. My Galax Saber is ready to strike you down. Oh, he's got a shit ton of XP. Or HP. Galax Saber! That's it? That wasn't very impressive. Teamwork! We gotta attack the boss every turn. Alright, we did get all of our HP back. Nice. Oh. Ow. Ow. Hey. So rude. Alien gun. Boom, 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 boom. We are the protectors of Earth. All right, so we should be able to kill this guy. Nice. Uh, you're the assault, so I'm gonna have you go here. Um, how far can you move? All right, so you can kill weak Nutcracker. And you can come over here and blast them with the power of gun. Ooh, silver tape, nice. Hey. Hmm. We can kill the weak bread crumbler. Gauche paint? Oh, hey, that works. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh no, it didn't work. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, well we definitely have to attack him this turn. Oh no! Oh no, we're gonna miss the directors as well. It's okay, because we got full audience, but, you know, still annoying. You have the power of gun. So I think if we move you here, blast this guy. Yeah, see, we can only get so many audience points anyway, so. Boom. And we are going to try to finishing move this guy, but I don't think it's going to let us. Yeah, I would expect that it would let us know by now. So rude. Galax Saber! Oh, he's almost dead. Yeah, it's not coming up with the finishing icon, so we can't use a finishing move because we're not all here. That's fine. Ugh, you have bested me. This threat was easy to handle, Phoenix Flight. Thanks for your help, Galax Silver. No need to thank me. You should thank the energized crystals we all channeled Galaxia Force from. But I must leave now. My my ship, the Star Road Surfer, awaits me. I bid you good luck on your path, Phoenix Flight. We need more friends like this one. Yeah, I can't wait for Jen to watch this episode. Like, do I get to cast that person, or what happened there? <laughs> This was perfect. My kids are going crazy about this hero show, shouting Rise from the Ashes around. Holy cow, Phoenix Flight is so awesome. It's the old hero show nostalgia just in just the right spot. Hyped by Phoenix Flight after reading a review of the last episode. <laughs> All right. So our agency could be your friend Dave. He's got more than 100 followers on microblog. Plus 12% audience, 20% audience per episode, minus 20% 20 fans. A part-time accountant, a friend of your dad's. Ooh, extra money. <laughs> Sell key holders. So basically he's for money. He's for fans, and he's kind of all over the place. All right, part-time account. Uh, let's just do one episode for now. Um, do that one, do that one. I like money. Be careful, you are in danger. Okay. From Cody Teo. Hey, Susie. Our neighbor asked me to send this email to invite you over. Tomorrow is a big day and we are celebrating. There'll be cake and lots of soda for everyone in our street. I hope to see you there. I'm not Susie. Oh my god, it's an invite-only party. I'm afraid that you are not welcome. I didn't realize I sent this to the wrong person. I'm so sorry. It won't ever happen again. That's the right thing to do. Hey, guess what? 
bigger studio. So lamps give us, can we afford this? Minus 5% chance of enemy dodge encounter, nice. Microphone gives us plus 10% audience. Um, the upgrade is a condenser microphone, which gets plus 20% audience. Uh, the shop partnership is a minus 35% discount on shop prices. Right now it's 25 or 20%. Everything looks or everything looks better. Unlock medium level upgrades. So let's get the lamps. Seems important. Oh hey, we can get a vacuum cleaner and a decent green screen. Drop rate plus 10. Done. Yes, another bucket helmet. Another bucket helmet. Oh, okay, it's gotcha. Uh, I can't afford any of that. Where did these come from? Oh, these are what we had started with. Gotcha. We didn't get anything from that? God damn it. But that means that we can make more bucket helmets. Yes. All right, everybody should have a bucket helmet now. Uh, and then... Season finale! An odd figure wanders through the streets of Phoenix Light City. What is it planning? Phoenix Flight will find out and use a new invention from Zerebro to put an end to it. Part four? There's four parts? Damn. Location, middle of the street. So, defeat six enemies, defeat boss monster with a finishing move. No, oh, sorry. Keep all your heroes standing, damage the boss monster in the first turn. Win four turns, execute five team attacks. Defeat six enemies, defeat boss monster with a finishing move. Defeat monster with a final strike, execute four perfect attacks. All right, um, we will do that next time on Character Select. I love this game. This is making me actually like want to go back and watch old Power Rangers episodes. <laughs> Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Like this game, hate it, you know, whatever. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below, and I'll see you next time for more Phoenix Flight. Mm.